Hi guys, welcome to a, another tutorial. This one um, we're going to do a uh, three color stencil uh, with different layers and uh, I'm also going to show you how to cut out your image. Um, what we're going to be doing is using a, an image that I took myself. So I just drag that into Photoshop. It's the easiest way of doing it. This is my uh, image which I've taken myself. Uh, you can't always breach copyright rules and in particular if you're being marked on the project you don't want to breach copyright rules. But let's begin. First um, I need to cut out my image. I want to trace around the outside of it. So the best way of doing that is to simply use uh, the pen tool. Um, if you click on the pen tool uh, you'll get uh, this little uh, icon coming up and it makes it easier if you zoom in a little bit and then begin to trace around the outside of your um, object. I like to just click as many times as I can around the object unless I get to a big area where I just uh, like make a nice long line. Um, up here is the fill. If you want to be able to see what you're doing, use that. Um, and also, uh, if you press the control key, oh, sorry, if, if you press the alt key, you'll get rid of that handle which will stop the line curving after each click. Uh, so if you've just done a great big long line and then you want to continue with doing a few little dots afterwards, you can. So you continue around the outside of the object until it's complete. Um, I'm going to do that
Okay, so um, I'm pretty much at the end now of my shape. And when I get to the end, you notice that when I hover over a um, little handle, I usually get a plus or a minus or a, a you know a take uh, symbol. When I'm about to close the shape, then I'll get a little circle. So I'm about to close my shape. And now what I've got is a shape that has been drawn around the outside of my background object. And this is handy. Um, handy especially if I'm uh, wanting to trace around something. Um, my background is always locked when I drag it in. So I want to make an extra shape so I can just um, duplicate the layer from the background. And then I have that. I can also get rid of or not show the background layer if I wish. Going back to my shape layer, if I right click on the shape layer, I'll want to make a selection. I'll make selection. So I do that. Now I've got a how much it wants to take around the actual path. Um, usually one to two pixels is fine. And then what I get is that little moving ants sort of selection around the object that I've traced around. Click on the shape layer that I want to copy and I can uh, now do a lot of stuff. I can either just cut out my image or I can um, erase um, the background just with the eraser tool. Um, I'll need to make sure um, that I've inverted my shape so that it's going to erase exactly where I want it to. So, make my eraser tool a bit bigger and I just get rid of all of this stuff around the outside of my shape. Like so. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to produce some layers and each layer will have a different color. So I think that's pretty good. How to trace around the object. Well there's part one done.